What is going on, y'all? Travis here, back with another episode of Criminal Minds, Season 2, Episode 14. Let's get into it, shall we? We're back in Miami. Welcome, friends. Super Bowl 41 is in the books. And, fellas, oh, you look back on it now. What was the turning point? It's about turnovers. That's what happened here today. We're going well, to the Super about Bowl. Turnovers. They hit the opposing quarterback. They make him throw interceptions. Football is over until next year. Which means I get Sundays with my husband back. I already miss it. Boo. Hey. Oh, no, no, no. I didn't mean it that way. Well, then, then how did you mean it? Just the huh? miss the, uh... No, no, don't do it. Beg for her forgiveness and move Schneider on. from one day at a time? He about to die. Schneider about to die. Do you count when you drink? Yeah, sometimes. I don't want to do this. The guests are leaving now. Go around the back. That's why I don't be leaving my window. Like, when I'm home, my shit, my curtains are closed, baby. You ain't seeing it in my shit, Thank Creeper. You guys. Oh, right. Don't worry, I'm driving. <laughs> Didn't men used to be the boss? Hey, I'm already in trouble. Oh, yeah. yeah. Smart boy. <laughs> Bye, you guys. Bye. Night. Night. Uh, we let this wait until morning? No, let's just do a little. All right, I'm gonna Boo. take the garbage out. Okay. About to die. Honey, did you leave the back door open? What? Nothing. Never mind. Lena can finish the rest. Lena can barely finish what she has to do on a normal Monday. Hey, I know how I can make up that horrible comment to you. Start on that special Sunday together. Yeah, notice. well, I could uh, get you a football helmet. Mm, oh. well, that's ridiculous. <laughs> what are y'all? What is the get, what is the goal here? You gonna kill them while they're doing it? Nine one one. What's your emergency? I'm a 1527 Chestnut Drive. Things are too greedy. They have too much. Too much what? Stuff. The possessions, things they don't need. Are you calling because these people have too much stuff, sir? No, I'm calling because Raphael. He's calling because Raphael is going to kill the sinners that live here. Sir? <laughs> because they have the stuff? Morgan, be careful! The one in the back could take your wallet! I'll be a broke, happy man! <laughs> Cheers! Cheers! So how are they treating you at the BAU, Emily? She means am I being nice to you? Actually, everyone's been incredibly nice. Uh, he hasn't move. been that nice. I know, like look at him. Yes. More like ready a to, dog. Ready to He did not pounce. ask them to dance. They asked him. Okay, he's a cat. An alley cat. Come on, let's go show him how it's done. That is so sweet. Going to the loop. Do not let anyone steal my seat. I'll guard it with my life. Oh, another one bites dust. How'd you get so good at this? Oh, sorry, boys. You're gonna have to find someone else to humiliate you. <sighs> Ask me any any question. Return to tomorrow. Return to tomorrow. Season two, production number fifty-one, and Sargon takes over Kirk's body. Well, there's take over Spock and Doctor Molehole's alien race is appearing. Oh my Trick god! Question. And the Doctor McCoy quote. Five, four, three. I will not peddle flesh. I'm a physician. Drink. I am so sorry. Did you say that again. Okay, have the police fax over everything they have so far. I'll take care of the notifications. Most everyone's here with me. Last but not least, a special treat for your annual Super Bowl visit. As soon as it came in, I knew you'd want to see it. An original hand-colored Audubon etching, Turtus polyglottus. Or the Mockingbird. It's gorgeous. See how they fight the rattlesnake for their nest. Have no concern for their own safety. You know, they can emulate the cries of over 30 different species, from hummingbirds to eagles, other animals, even machinery. They are incredible. Ew. JJ, I'll meet you at the office. Rattlesnake in someone's nest. I'm sorry we couldn't spend more time together. Thanks a lot. What do we do? Raphael, what do we do? What do we do? That wasn't redemption. That wasn't God's will. <laughs> what, the hell, what, did we do? what the fuck? You know, it never fails. Just as I'm getting my groove thing going, bang. <laughs> Not the Back groove the thing. Beginning. Is it really that hard for you to get your groove thing going again? <laughs> I'm the only one who's sleeping. The groove thing. Where were you tonight? Went to the Smithsonian. You missed a good time. I had a good time. Well, that's definitely over. Georgia. The Kyles, Dennis, and Lacey were murdered an hour ago in their suburban Atlanta home. Police were unseen unusually fast. What? One of the unsubs called them and told them that the other was about to murder the victims from inside the house. The first male sounded terrified and begged them to get there because the other, identified as Raphael, was about to kill the sinners that lived there. The, guy the 911 center is going to send Garcia a copy just of the now. Tape. How fast was the police Probably response the same time? Person. Four minutes, 26 seconds. Multiple During which time, personalities. Raphael managed oh. to do this. In four and a half minutes. When they 
arrived, police found this displayed prominently on the bed. Revelation chapter 6, verse 8. They're killing sinners. Mission-based killers will not stop killing. How you go kill a sinner and, and then you go be a horse. sinner by doing the killing? And his name that sat upon him was death. The fuck? Make this it make sense. Right. Ye shall walk after the Lord your God and keep his commandments and obey his voice and cleave unto him. You don't serve God that way. <laughs> you don't question me, boy. I don't see two people. You've done the Lord's work tonight. Dawson! Hey! Dad, no! Please! Patrick Swayze's brother? Will you stay right there. The book tells us that we are not to serve the Lord till we are sealed. Sealed with God's mark. Sealed in our forehead. Ah! <laughs> uh -uh. <laughs> yeah, man. That's enough to fuck somebody up, I'd say. Bitch, we got Dawson up in here. Condemned murderer Perry Smith said of his victims, the Clutter family, I didn't have anything against them and they never did anything wrong to me, the way other people have all my life. Maybe they're just the ones who have to pay for it. Pack. This is a bad one, is with the cause are never good. Pets. I just got the number one call from the Georgia State Police. Vanderbeek is a psycho. What's your emergency? I'm at 1527 Chestnut. He thinks they're too greedy. They have too much. Too much what? Stuff. The possessions. Things they own. All right. You're calling because these people have too much stuff? No, I'm calling because Raphael. He's calling because Raphael is going to kill the sinners that live here. Well, I feel like one definitely sounds frightened. Maybe he's doing this against his will. I feel like they're both him. He whispered. He could have called out to save them instead of calling 911. The second unsub said Raphael was going to kill someone. Is there a third? You're referring to oneself in the third person is not uncommon for an unsub. I'm going to go ahead and run the name Raphael through the Georgia criminal databases as well as our own. We have a killing team on a mission in rural Georgia. They're not going to stop until the mission's complete. JJ, we need an inside picture of the victims. Prentice, go where the bodies are. Examine the wounds. They managed to kill two victims in four and a half minutes. We need to know how. Reed, you and Morgan, come with me to the crime scene. We land in less than an hour. Everybody try to get some rest. You all right? What? You seem unhappy. I am unhappy. Tired of people using religion to justify the terrible things they do. Yeah. These unsubs believe they're either on a mission from God or that the Bible was somehow guiding them. It sounded to me like only one of them was into the mission. How many times was Mr. Kyle stabbed? Stabbed uh, isn't exactly the word. They're all long, deep gashes. Each victim has virtually the same wounds. Both throats cut, a vertical gash up one arm, and a vertical gash down one leg. Major arteries. How much knowledge of anatomy would someone need to do this? Anyone with a basic understanding of the body knows where these arteries are. Which one of these wounds was delivered first? There was active blood flow from each of the wounds, probably all delivered at about the same time. Any of these wounds, the victim would bleed out quickly, almost like an animal at slaughter. No, exactly like an animal at slaughter. Cut the throat first, then then sometimes open up other major arteries to assist in draining the carcass. The hunter Not the carcass! Or a farmer, pretty much anyone in rural Georgia. So I just talked to the gentry. According to them, the Kyles didn't have any enemies. They were just generally good people. So why them? Well, if the triggers agreed, we do have a nice house. These people were chosen, and we need to know why and how. I pulled everything we have unsolved in the last two years. No yeah, murders I mean, involving outside, a knife. It, we have a lot of open like, cases like involving nice knives, but they're common type crimes. Well, this house, isn't their first contact. Like, One of them has experience. Not like super Is it okay if I go through some of your case outside, files? You know? Fresh eyes. There's nothing there. Help me out. These guys, they're not going to let me do anything else, and I flew all the way here, so... I'll show you the file room. This is an unincorporated area. We're stretched pretty thin, manpower-wise. Four and a half minutes, that's a pretty good response time. On part with New York City's response time. And they've got a hell of a lot more cops per capita. Sunset was good. You didn't really have a chance. Okay. It does seem quick as hell. I know my partner called 911. The police are on the way, so I don't have a lot of time. I gotta believe I entered the bedroom from here. I see Mr. Kyle on the other side of the bed, so I approach him. And I cut him first. A blitz attacker neutralizes the greatest threat first. In this case, it would be the man. The 911 call. Woman screamed. You can't scream with your throat cut. So Mrs. Kyle sees her husband murdered. Through that. She runs back into the bathroom. Excuse me, man. She tries to close the door behind her. I force my way in. I kill Mrs. Kyle back here in the bath. Well, we checked that smudge for prints. Nothing. Looks like he wore some gloves. Like latex, maybe. That doesn't make any sense at all. Unsub suffering from a psychopathy? I uh, don't generally clean up after themselves. You know, maybe unsub one, the frightened one, made sure they did. Excuse me. Yeah, talk to me, baby girl. Are you at the crime scene? Baby yep. girl. Is there like a, a, a burgundy settee against one wall? If a settee is a little couch. <laughs> oh, my lord. What's wrong? Just got a viral video emailed to me by a friend. This one seems to be pretty popular, judging by the string of names in the foreword. Garcia, is there some point to all this? Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's a video of your crime scene. Your crime, most specifically, Mr. Kyle being murdered. Garcia, there's a video of this murder posted on the internet? Shot from 
directly across the room from the little couch. Oh, shit. All of these places are set up to be murder scenes soon? It says the world is a cesspool. Greed, lust, disease. That sounds like unsaid number one. His redemption must be sought. We must all repent. And he referred to being Raphael? Oh, God. It's not God. It's someone sitting right there next to him telling this guy what to say. Leviticus 26, 18. That's a new voice. Will not yet for all this heart. Third answer? Punish you seven times more. Could just be recorded from a religious program or a sermon. Punish you seven times. I have more victim. If this video came from that computer's camera, then what? Did the unsubs bring it with them? As far as I can tell, this computer belonged to the Kyles. They're taking a better Kyle. analysis, but it has their banking statements, vacation photos. I might be asking the wrong question. Clearly, they want the world to see this. They need it. But they didn't bring a camera with them. Agent Franks, does this building have wireless internet? Yeah. What? The camera's on right now. Did you see that, boy? What's going on? I told you the armies of Satan would rise against us. It's him. It, they're both him. They're him. Both those voices are him. That's why they're not the showing the other fucking guy. The and, streaming a video and every time that voice, it, it's not on him. Keep it open, Garcia might be able to. Right? It turned off. So they're controlling it remotely. Yeah, you can totally access someone's computer remotely. When a mortal calls for tech support, instead of like, giving you instructions, the tech can work on your computer from wherever she is. He and probably they maintain works the access even after the work is done. Comcast you can or install Direct TV. A the same way that websites get pop-up ads onto your computer. Garcia, can you check the Kyle's phone records and see if they call for tech support in the last six months? By the way, this video has gone crazy viral. That means it's the most downloaded video on the entire internet worldwide. And judging by the responses embedded in the files, people seem to think it's pretty cool. Call us if you find anything on the Kyle's computer. Murder is entertainment. Why the fuck would you want to watch? probably don't even realize it's real. It's real online people. every day. They might assume it's marketing for a horror film or something. I like watching fake people get murdered in, in shows and movies, but I'm not trying to watch no real people. That's somebody's dad or brother or uncle or cousin or friend. No. No, this is a warning, not a show. What's wrong with you people? Tech support. Uh, yeah, I just got this computer yesterday. I can't get the damn sound to work. I can help you with that, sir. What kind of computer do you have? I don't know. Big? Big. Mm, size, sir. Is it a PC? Yeah, you know, my wife gave it to me for my birthday. Does your computer have a camera installed in it? I, I think so, yeah. It's my sound that's messed up. But... All right, I can help you with that, sir, but I'm going to need you to allow me remote access to your computer. Okay, sure. As long as it gets fixed. No, 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 don't. That whore. What, what do you mean, no? I... No, she made a mistake. We don't have to. God is about love and forgiveness. What the hell do you know about God? So what have we got so far? Well, the killings are clinically efficient. As far as I can tell, it's the first in the series. Cool, cool. I'm suggesting a psychopathy that should display extreme levels of disorganization. Or forensic countermeasures. And somebody in control enough to do complicated computer work. One member of the team's organized, the other's extremely disorganized. The one that we would consider as being most in control can't seem to stop the other one from killing. Usually the frenzied personality takes direction from the cooler head. Unsub one called the police before the killing, but he didn't leave time for them to get there. That's in case because it's the same guy. I mean, maybe he didn't want to stop the other, but he did whatever he had to do to cover himself. What do we have so far? Not enough. Why y'all, uh, why you got two different patterns for your furniture? That don't make no damn sense. Nine one one, what's your emergency? Behold, I will cast her into a bed and them that commit adultery with her into great tribulation. Excuse me? 222 what? Smith Road. Raphael must teach more sinners the way of the Lord. Uh, what? So Frank's is right, none of the open knife cases fit. Tell me there's a butt. I looked for unsolved home invasions. Three months ago, there was a prowler called in directly outside of the Kyle's house. The witness was walking his dog at a nearby park. He saw a man in dark clothing go over the back wall and start sneaking up to the house. Only one man? Was the witness able to describe him? It's not in this case file. Tobias Hankel lives about an hour from here. Why don't you and Reed go out there, see if you can find Mr. Hankel, and see if you remember something. Agent Hutchner, yeah. state just responded to another murder. Did you even get the coroner on that right away? Only called again. This time it was different. Only one of them spoke. Pretty sure it was Raphael. I wrote down what he said. I got a recording being brought out here. We only had but the one unit close. Could the NSUB know that? On some local media attention recently. The 911 call wasn't the only thing that was different. This particular scene is weird in another way. The male victim upstairs, throat cut. Why is that weird? He doesn't live here. He's a local handyman. Who lives here? I just talked to Mr. Douglas a little while ago. He's on his way back from a business meeting downstate. Oh. He wasn't having any handiwork done in the house. And his wife was supposed to be home. But she's not. 
but her car is here. Purse, I got a description out on the field. You said you copy down what the caller said? Yeah. Behold, I will cast her into a bed, and them that commit adultery. So adultery is the sin, but they kill him and not her, they abduct her. You think she's still alive? I'll cast her into a bed. It's from Revelation again, it's about Jezebel. She was an adulterer, a whore, false prophetess. She most reviled woman in the Bible. The unsubs knew she was having an affair. There was a laptop here. Ah! Don't look now, but we're on candid camera. Uh-huh. Please! What a fucking there. weirdo. Please, don't hurt me! We don't have to do this. Tie your hands and shut up. I sometimes can't even believe you're my son. There's a laptop set up on the dresser upstairs. Garcia's trying to chase the camera's feed back to his destination. I gave her space to repent of her fornication, and she repented not. I repent! So she repents. It's in the book, 1510. I say unto you, there is joy for one sinner that repents. I repent. Tape her mouth. If that is all him, he's pretty good at changing his voice up. What does the new behavior tell us? There was only one unsub this time. Raphael, alone. Like he wouldn't be capable of operating this efficiently. Someone was here who could control himself and make sure no evidence was left behind. At the first crime, unsub one called the police. This time it was Raphael. It's like the phone call is necessary. It's part of the signature. Split personality. To kill with sword, with hunger, and with death, and with the beasts of the earth. Beast. Anything new? Oh. Revelations. A lot of bad stuff happens in that book. Raphael called alone this time. This team doesn't act like any team we've ever seen. It was clearly a dominant personality and a clearly subservient one. They don't swing back and forth like this. They just don't take on each other's roles. You know, they can emulate the cries of over 30 different species, from hummingbirds to eagles, other animals, even machinery. Ever heard of the Archangel Raphael? God preached mercy for sinners. Don't you try to tell me about the Lord, boy. Jezebel calleth herself a prophetess to teach and to seduce my servants to commit fornication. Have we ever seen this in case history? I don't know control. why you, this dude is bringing religion, is doing it for something. religious reasons. Don't exactly and he play is well booking with a one-way ticket to, to hell, motherfucker. That's so why is he naming himself? Twice. He's certainly not worried about us getting that name. In fact, he wants us to know it. An alias? Or Raphael doesn't actually exist. So we're not looking for a team? Raphael's the name of one of the archangels. Meaning? We may have one on sub, suffering from a delusion that he's actually an archangel. Maybe that first phone call was not two people, but one. What about the third voice? That I don't know about yet. Mrs. Douglas is Jezebel. There's an especially unpleasant death in her future. This is the word of the Lord, which he spake by his servant Elijah the Tishbite, saying, For Jezreel shall dogs eat the flesh of Jezebel. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Garcia's running voice analysis on the first 911 call to see if there are actually two voices. We should have a copy of that latest call brought over here within the hour. Hodgson, your Tech and Chronicles on phone. Garcia? Jeez, don't you people answer your cell phones anymore? Spotty cell signal. If you think that first video went viral fast, the second one's going through the stratosphere. Second video? Yeah, there's a new video from our psycho. So these upload sites get more than a million hits a day. Get it on a monitor here as soon as you can. Baptism time, boy! I, I don't want to... Serving the Lord ain't about what you... What? Serving the Lord is a duty. What a fucking asshole. She spake by his servant Elijah the Tishbite, saying, A portion of Jezreel shall dogs eat the flesh of Jezebel. Oh my god, no, no! Jezebel's death. My god. You can turn it off. Wait. You haven't seen enough? Those dogs. Those three dogs attacked someone a couple of months ago. I would have had him impounded, but the victim knew the owner. He didn't want to press charges. You're sure? God is my witness. You about to be caught, motherfucker. Not the screensaver. I knew those dogs looked sick. Put a call an animal control. I don't know if they ever followed up on it. You have the owner's name? Hankel. Hankel. Tobias Hankel. Hi, Mr. Hankel. Yeah? Mr. Hankel. FBI, Major Dre, this is Agent Reed. FBI? Uh, may we come in? Um, I'm sorry, I, I don't let anyone in the house. Really have to, um, you know, go? You do? 30 minutes. Why didn't you say something in the car? Uh, do you mind? My father doesn't like it. Father, you're like 30. At what age someone start disrespecting the wishes of their parents? You witnessed something a few months ago that might be very helpful to us. You saw someone go over a wall into a yard, you called the police? Me? You didn't? Sorry. Hmm. Is there another Tobias Hankel here? It's just me and my father. Charles. You were walking a dog. No, that's that's wrong. I don't have a dog. Oh. All right. Well, sorry to bother you, sir. Why, Zamanelli? Sure just quickly uh, use the. Sorry. Have a good night. 
Why bother calling the police in the first place if later you were just going to pretend you didn't? Gauge the response time. If you're going to kill somebody but you wanted to call the police first, what would you need to know? How long it takes them to get there. Read. People are fucking nuts. Oh. JJ. He's the unsub. He's in the barn. Come on. No, better call. Better call Morgan and Hodge. Sure. A Gideon! You been pulsing out when I wasn't? And everybody Clock. else! We're in the middle of nowhere, Reed. What we have fuck? no cell service. Fuck. What do we do? I don't know. He's definitely in here. I'm gonna go around deck. Hotch knows we came here. He'll come looking for us. We'll just we'll wait him out. Uh, Reed, are you sure we should... Go shoot that fucker. Split up. JJ! JJ, he's out back! Reed? Reed. Better be careful. You gonna get got. You gonna get got. Why are you running from them devils, boy? They're the FBI. They're devils. You're doing the Lord's work. You got nothing to be afraid of. Reed. I don't want to do this anymore. Uh. Don't disrespect me, boy. Stop. I'm sorry. I'm... You don't got no choices. The Lord summoned you to do his work. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Stopped him by myself. Okay. I tried to warn everyone. Just relax, Mr. Angle, all right? Shoot him. I don't want to. I said, I shoot knew him. it. You weakling, he's a Satan. <laughs> you didn't do anything. I won't tell you another time, boy. Shoot him. Bitch, we got a two parter. We got a two parter on our hands. I gotta go watch the second half right now. That was wild. I do feel like they kind of like, when they were showing him with the voice, it does. It wasn't as clear of a difference, you know what I mean? I feel like maybe they like enhanced a little bit prior to that. Make it sound completely different, if that makes any sense. Fucking people are, people are cray cray, no. But understandably so, I mean, by no means am I giving any like free pass to do this kind of shit. But like when you have that kind of upbringing and you dealt with that kind of shit, that's like a recipe for disaster. Of course you're, not of course, but it's more understandable that you end up doing some fucked up shit. Ugh. Let me know what y'all thought about this one. I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.